Alright guys, today I got a very serious video. Today I'm going to be talking about Donald Trump and the speech he gave today following the recent events happening in the United States. Now I'm not going to be talking about the events themselves because I really don't want to try and use those events to gain popularity or views. I don't really enjoy using tragic events like that to gain popularity. It's just not who I am. I'm also not going to be going too much into the politics as it relates to the events that took place. This video is meant to be a direct response to what the president said that caused these events to take place. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the speech that I'm responding to. All in all, I have to say it was a decent speech up until it came down to what he thinks was the cause of these incidents. I felt like he really gathered people together, said the right things, but when it came to what he feels caused it is where I have a lot of problems. Donald Trump believes that the internet and video games are the cause of all the recent atrocities that happen in the United States. While he makes a good point that on social media you can use it as a tool to cause harm to people, he also neglects to note all the good that comes from different social media outlets. For example, I know it's been really popular recently on Facebook where a lot of my friends are starting to use like donation systems for charity and they're able to, you know, gather people together to donate money to certain charities and help causes. I think that's amazing. YouTubers and Twitch streamers also do the same. They oftentimes will go on and stream or they'll make videos and leave links to donations for different charities. And I think that's amazing. That's something where social media is really a blessing in this day and age. It, it's sort of a double-edged sword in that regard. Because it can be both used as a tool for good and bad. We've seen like the political debates and everything. A lot of the Russian hacking stuff is used in a negative way. But then you have all these other cases where, you know, something positive can come from social media. But I think to just blame it all on social media and the internet in general is a bit ridiculous. What really pissed me off is when he went on to suggest that violent video games are the cause of our, quote culture that celebrates violence end quote this is a real problem i have and it's something that's bothered me for years video games have been a political target for almost 30 years now and this notion that video games cause people to become violent is completely asinine and not substantiated in any way whatsoever the argument is always the same Violent video games are targeted to children, and they cause them to grow up to become violent adults. Like, that's not a real thing that happens. The reason this claim has become so mainstream is because oftentimes, the people who commit these atrocities and do all these violent acts also just so happen to play video games. In this instance, correlation does not equal causation. Just because somebody plays video games and someone else happens to be violent doesn't mean that everyone who plays video games is violent. And what really irritates me is Donald Trump said he wants to stop or substantially reduce the amount of kids playing violent video games. Problem is, there is already a system in place that is specifically designed to prevent kids from playing violent games, and that's simple. It's the ESRB. Every popular AAA game, even a lot of indies, end up going through the ESRB and each game is given its own rating. The ratings are very simple to read, very easy to understand, and they're designed to show you what exactly is and isn't appropriate for any given age group. And it also, with that rating, gives a small list of reasons why it was given that rating and why it might be for that specific age group. At that point, it's entirely up to the parents to decide whether or not they want to purchase that game for the child. It is very apparent that these politicians have absolutely no idea what they're talking about when it comes to video games. This is nothing new. Video games are constantly being blamed for violent acts, which ultimately paints all gamers in a very negative light, and it's just not true. I'm just so tired of all these people saying that my favorite hobby, something I am very passionate about, is what causes people to become violent when people have been committing violent acts since the dawn of time. That's all I really have to say. This was more of a rant than anything else. 
If you guys have something you'd like to add to the conversation, leave it in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video or are a gamer, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.